This video is the first in a series of videos about the making of solid models using AutoCAD. What you are looking at now are solid model assemblies created by my students. The detailed drawings from which these models were made come from the technical drawing book by Giesecke, G I E S E C K E. And the book is the 14th edition published by Prentice Hall. It contains a lot of detail and assembly drawings of products and machines. It must be noted that when using paper space in AutoCAD, solid model assemblies can be shown in a viewport, rendered and made part of an assembly drawing. Also it should be noted that solid model assemblies are made up of solid model parts similar to what you are now looking at. Solid model parts are designed so that they can be manufactured by any number of machine processes including machining, sheet metal working, plastics design, welding, soldering, brazing, riveting, and all kinds of fasteners. Actually, I can't think of any part that could not be accurately and efficiently drawn as a solid model, including springs, bearings, gears, cams, o-rings, pins, etc. All CAD programs and especially AutoCAD, have proven to be highly valuable as a tool for the mechanical engineer and the mechanical designer. Solids and other 3D models are used in many other ways in our society as well. The movies and video game people use them. Architects use them to demonstrate proposed buildings and landscapes. Engineers use them as designs of new devices and vehicles. And besides being fun to draw, solid models consist of much valuable information. To extract such information, AutoCAD uses the mass prop command and a sample mass prop report would include mass, volume, centroid, moments of inertia, and radii of gyration of a solid. My students are enthusiastic and they have fun learning AutoCAD because they are taught how to make solid models as well as 2D drawings even in the first couple of lectures. However, in order to make drawings, both 2D and 3D, a student has to learn basic concepts. Every student has to learn about layers because every object has to have a layer. With layers, you can control visibility, color, and whether the layers are on, off, or frozen. Blocks are also a useful tool. Blocks suggest groups of objects. A sample block might be a table or a chair. You can save that block outside the drawing file and the block can be inserted into any drawing as often as desired. Scale factor is very important. You might want to draw a football field and need a scale of 1 to 100. Or you might want to draw a map and need a scale of 1 to 500. You might draw something like a laptop or a piece of furniture and your scale might be 1 to 1 or full on a drawing different kinds of units such as decimal, fractional, 
or architectural units. So far, I have talked only about mechanical products and machines, but my students also learn how to use solid modeling when creating a 3D architectural model for presentation, like the school building, which you will is different from creating a 3D mechanical model. In the architectural model, you only have to include the larger form of the building to convey the shape and design. In this type of model it's best to keep details to a minimum and to avoid cluttering up the drawing. For that reason details such as door hardware, window shades and so forth are not usually visible anyway. I'm going to end this first video of my new AutoCAD Online series by reminding you all that I have already produced more than 40 videos on YouTube which teach how to draw both 2D and solid models using AutoCAD. To view those tutorials simply enter AshCAD or MD Guide in the search area. Also if you have an AutoCAD program and request a few sample drawings to practice, I will be happy to send them to you via email. As a final note, since many people appear to be interested in learning the AutoCAD program, I decided to start up a free GoToMeeting series of AutoCAD lectures. The lectures will be free and if you would like to participate please let me know so that I can provide you with the URL as well as the time and dates of the lecture. Of course online. My email address is ashcad at comcast.net. Thank you all for watching.